What's up? Welcome back to the Dance Dojo. A lot of people recently have been asking if I can do a demonstration of how to handle timing switches in the music with a real song and a real partner. So that's what I have for you today. Firstly, I want to remind you of the difference in how to count as a musician and as a dancer. So musicians count in fours. One, two, three, four. That's a bar of music. Dancers put two of those together and we get an eight count basic step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what happens is when musicians are composing music, they start adding an extra bar of four somewhere and it switches our one and our five around. So something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, great. But then they go one, two, three, four, and they start over again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the one and the five has switched and that's how our numbers get turned around. So now let's figure out what to do about it. So I'm back with Emily Sanchez, the amazing Emily Sanchez, and she's going to help us demonstrate the timing changes. So the best thing about timing changes is you don't have to memorize them. If it happens when you're social dancing, no big deal, recognize it, and you can switch back to, you know, the one or whatever beat you're dancing on. Uh, so no memorization. So don't worry. So let's say we're dancing on one as an example. One, two, three, five, six, seven. There's a timing switch and the one and the five get switched. So now I'm dancing five, six, seven, one, two, three. What step can I use to switch timing? And it's very simple and it looks like this. You're just gonna step forward, forward and touch and then go forward again. Forward and normal basic, okay? So if we, had, if we do it with um, counts, it would look like this. One, two, three, five, six, seven. The timing switches. So now we're doing five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. And I can do it in the closed position as well. So let's pretend that the music switched and I'm going to step forward on five. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Here we go. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. And so why does this work? Let's talk about the physics of what's happening in the lead and follow. So, so you're specifically gonna, specifically gonna feel it more when you're dancing in a close position. So all I'm doing is, I'm going five, six, seven, and I'm not transferring my weight. So I'm leaving my weight here, right? Five, six, seven. So I can step forward on one. One, two, three, five, six, seven. What happens if I transfer my weight back? Five, six, seven, she comes with me, so it doesn't work. Okay, so all you have to do is stay in place and not shift your weight back, and that'll work. So, one more time. Five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven. Let's do the counts on two, and then let's show you the, uh, the counting song and a real song. Okay, so dancing on two. One, two, three five, six, seven, and then let's say the timing switch happens. So there's five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three. Okay, now uh, in close position. So we're dancing one, two, three, five, six, seven, a timing switch happens. So here we go, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven. Five, so, six, on seven, one first. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Timing change. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Here we go with the switch. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Easy. One, two, now, three, on two. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Okay. One, two, three, Timing switch. Five, six, Now let's do a real example. Uh, we're gonna use a song called Déjame Soñar by I think it's Tony Vega and Tito Puente. And what's gonna happen in the song, and I'm gonna give you the song link so you can actually listen to it. And at one minute, 27 seconds in this version, uh, there's a little change in the music. And so normally when we're dancing, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
and then you're going to hear the music change, and it changes for uh, 12 counts. So it's one, it's different for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the musicians put in just a bar of four, one, two, three, four, and then the one comes again. And so if you just dance all the way through that, you're going to be off time. So we're going to listen to it, and I'm going to tell you when it's happening and when we go off time, and then we're going to actually uh, recover our timing. Dancing on one. Music change. Now I'm dancing on five. One, five. Let's change. There we are. Back on time. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Okay. Now let's do it on two. Music's changing. Now I'm six and two. Let's change. Here we go. One, two, three, five, six, seven. And that's it. So as you can see, if you identify a timing change and you realize it happens, you're like, oh, now the counts have switched. You don't need to change your steps right away. It's okay if it takes you a couple basics to be like, ah, something's weird. And maybe your partner looks at you funny, I don't know, and then you're like, ah, yeah, okay, the music changed. Okay, let's change. So there's no, there's no rules of, if you don't change right away, like, you're a bad person, nah. Just, if you identify that it changed, and it feels strange to you, you can now use this step to get back on time. And that's it. And if you don't recognize the music change, that's totally fine. As long as you maintain the rhythm, that's most important so that you can communicate with your partner. So there you go. Hope that helped. Thank you, Emmy. And if you're enjoying these tips on YouTube, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Our online salsa and bachata programs have so much more information. So if you really want to excel in your classes and learn more faster in a shorter period of time, and have this really quality material that you can reference anytime, highly recommend check out our Salsa and Bachata programs online. Try them free for a week at thedancedojo.com. If you have any ideas for my next video, I'd love to hear them. Comment below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.